So welcome everybody to our Tuesday night training and inspiration call. I'm really excited about this call um, because I love this lady and she is no nonsense, which is kind of like how I am. No nonsense with maybe a little bit of sweetness mixed in there, but <laughs> that's the way to be, right? Um, get down to business and just be honest. And she's just going to be honest with us and share her story with us. Um, but before we start just a couple of quick announcements so the deadline has passed for the action pack and the replacement action pack as well i know some of you had messaged me earlier today and given me names of people that still weren't seeing it in their back office and i was able to turn those in and because i turned those in before the deadline those people are still going to be able to get their action packs but anything past the deadline any emails or anything sent in will not count so my recommendation is if they still want to try the new slim have them find a new ambassador to join have that new ambassador get a double welcome pack and they can buy half of it off of them so they can get the new slim that way that would be my recommendation and then it's a good deal for both of them because that new ambassador gets a triplex and an x factor for 99 bucks and then the ambassador that um sponsored them gets a triplex for 99 bucks so not a bad deal there's still always a way to get new slim um, I'm getting a lot of messages asking, when are we going to be able to just purchase the new slim? I don't know. <laughs> I wish I knew, but as soon as I know, you will know. Um, we'll all get that same email communication from Corp, but we're really excited for that. Excited that convention is coming up. You can still register if you are a newer ambassador that joined from February on. You actually, um, they just sent out an email this week that you actually get a discounted um, registration so it's not too late we've had people register a week before convention you know at convention so um, it's definitely worth going for that so without further ado I'm going to turn the time over to Christine Ware and she is just amazing she um, was a kindergarten teacher for 19 years she's now a retired kindergarten teacher because of Plexus she has two beautiful children she lives in Oklahoma and she has been a diamond for actually I don't know how long she's going to tell us her story but I'm going to let you take it away and then if you guys have got questions just go ahead and put them in the chat box throughout and we will have her maybe answer some questions at the end if that's okay all right awesome so let me or you can unmute yourself and take it away there yay you guys I am so excited to be on with you tonight I need to do a disclaimer before I get started, but kind of sort of did it by saying that I am a no-nonsense gal, but I am one of those people that is like overly passionate and sometimes I scare people. So I'm not yelling at you or like <laughs> commanding you to do things or anything like that, but I'm very, very passionate about our products and about this amazing opportunity because they have both completely transformed my life and the future of my family. And so I have to be honest and tell you guys, I love to train my team. Like training is my favorite thing to do because it's where I get my teaching back in. But I really love to come on and share with people that don't know who I am, have a clue about my story because it's kind of like I get to tell it again and everybody's surprised by what I'm saying because my team has heard it 500 times. So I'm excited to be on with you guys tonight. Let me tell you uh, just a little bit about my Plexus journey. I signed up on March the 4th of 2014. So I've been an ambassador for three years and two months. And I'm going to just be completely transparent with you guys tonight. So I am a super quirky, introverted pretty introverted. Although if you met me in person, you would not think I was introverted, but I really identify with the introverted side of things. I am not super social. Uh, I don't like big crowds. So like when I come home from convention, I'm going to be held up in my house for like a week trying to recharge my batteries. And, um, so I'm super quirky. So just know that as I go forward tonight, when I say something and you're like, gosh, she's quirky. Remember I warned you. Okay. I am. So I signed up uh, for a discount. I was never joining for a business, like would never have joined for a business. If someone had presented that to me, I would have run the other direction. And honestly, I had no idea what to even expect from Plexus. I had watched a high school friend of mine 
post about it for a couple of months on Facebook. And I actually reached out to her and said, like, what is it that you're posting about? Because I'd never seen her like, you know, sell anything or do anything like this. And I was like, this is really out of character for her. And I really trusted her from our relationship that we'd had for many, many years. And um, she told me about Plexus, but you guys, I thought it was a weight loss company. That's all that I thought it was. And so I signed up to lose some weight. Like that's what I signed up for. And I have to tell you that I have really struggled with my weight my whole entire life. In fact, I'm a lifetime Weight Watcher. Like I've been doing Weight Watchers since before those point things were ever invented. I've been doing it a really long time. So I was like 19 and I'm 45 now. So a really long time I've been doing Weight Watchers. I was a Weight Watchers leader. And I just wanted something easy to help me lose the weight and maintain it without having to count the points and be so obsessed with food because I really was obsessed. It's all I thought about and talked about all the time was what I got to eat for my next meal and what I was going get to get to eat on the weekend because I'd saved all these bonus points is what I called them. So signed up seven days into my journey. I really didn't feel different. To be honest with you, the scale hadn't moved. Nothing had changed in my mind, but I took like a good Plexus ambassador. I took my before picture and then on day seven, I took another picture and I compared them. And I could definitely see like that the inflammation in my face was reducing. In fact, my best friend, she tells people this all the time. She's like, I never knew you had fat eyes. I mean, it, you could just see my eyes. Like they, they come, they came out. Um, it was kind of amazing. And I went on Facebook. I don't tell everybody this story, but I feel comfortable with you guys. You trust me, right? I trust you. So I went on Facebook on a Saturday morning. And I saw that a friend of mine's husband was posting. He'd been posting for like four months. He was losing all this weight. And he kept being like super cryptic and saying, like, message me if you want to know what I'm doing. So on this particular Saturday, he comes out and tells everybody he's doing Plexus. I was like, oh, oh no. Like, I'm so competitive. I was like, oh, you're not getting my people. Like, you're not, you're not going to go help them. I'm going to do that. Like, I want to help these people. So I totally like made a side by side because that was back in the good old days when you could. And. I posted it and I literally spent the entire weekend answering messages from people. It was insane. Now my sponsor, who's precious, had no idea what was going on. Like she literally told me, you know, at the time we called it backup orders. You don't need one of those convenience orders turned on. You're not going to tell, I mean, don't ever tell someone that, but that's what she told me. She's like, you're not going to ever share it. You don't need it on. Well, I at least was wise enough to be like, well, I might share it someday. So I had it on. And I started signing up customers like crazy. My second month, I had like $4,600 in PV. I just was, it was exploding. And the reason why is because people trusted me. They knew I'd never done anything like this before. And they knew that I've struggled, I mean, openly on Facebook with my weight for a long, long time. So here they come. I start signing up customers. Didn't know I needed to sign up ambassadors. Nobody told me that. So I'm just signing up customers like left and right and um, got a really good check. My first check was $354. And I told my husband, like, I'm going to make the car payment this month. I am so excited. And I'm going to tell you, three years ago, I'm kind of a statistics gal. So three years ago on this date, I had 22 people on my team. 22, three years ago. This week, we just went over 7,500 people, and I've been in three years and two months. So I'm telling you that, not to brag on my team, but to tell you what's possible in this business. Like, it literally is like a runaway train, and it just snowballs. Like, it just, you can't stop the momentum once it starts. And so three and a half months in, I'm sharing on Facebook, literally built 95% of my business that way. Sharing on Facebook, super passionate. My best friend has told me, you're stupid. My husband has told me, you're crazy. I have teachers at school looking at me like I have insane, because I was teaching kindergarten at that time. And do you know what, you guys? I just, I went with the calling on my life. That's what I did. And I was like, I'm supposed to be doing this. It's an opportunity to help people. Still didn't see it as a business but saw it as an opportunity to change the health of other people. Because what happened was, in addition to the weight loss, I went off all my medications. I didn't have the head and the vice thing going on once a month for four days anymore. 
I didn't have hip and knee discomfort anymore. I wasn't constipated chronically anymore, which I have been since childhood going once a week thinking it was groovy. Okay. That is not groovy. It is not great. It is awful. Don't ever let that happen to you or anyone else. It's terrible. Toxic. I know I'm preaching to the choir. So literally spent every other month at the doctor's office for some type of infection and was on antibiotics or around the clock, around the year. And as soon as I went off one antibiotic, I would get a yeast infection. And I'd be on diflucan. And then I'd, I mean, it was just a crazy cycle. Can you imagine the condition of my gut? Like it was awful. I've been on blood pressure medicine for seven years. Okay. So I signed up for weight loss and I got these incredible health results. And it, all it did was just fuel my passion for our products. Still didn't have a passion for the opportunity because I really didn't understand it. I didn't even look at the comp plan. I knew I needed so many points to go gold, but I really didn't understand the comp plan. I mean, I watched Sonya Dudley's point video I, probably 20 times before I like, oh, I got it. So went gold three and a half months in, had the whole summer to work my business um, when I was off from teaching and that really helped me build an incredible foundation of about 50 people. I went senior gold two months later, and I was the only person from my team to earn leaders retreat that year, and it was in Orlando. And so my husband still thought I was insane, y'all. He did. He was like, you think you're going to go talk about a pink drink on social media, which he was so anti-Facebook, and you're going to go make money doing this? He, he just thought it was crazy. But when we went to Orlando and he saw, like, how we're spoiled by Plexus, how they do things. He was kind of in awe, like honestly. And he still thought I was crazy, but he was in awe. And I want to tell you guys, this is a really personal story. Not that many people other than my team know it, but it, it kind of shows you like where I was in that moment. So this is six months into my journey. I'm senior gold ambassador. I've been, been senior gold for a couple of months. And uh, my, my idol, like my hero in Plexus was Sonia Dudley because she's who trained me. Like, remember, I didn't really have any guidance. And so I literally was trained by Sonia Dudley and she didn't even know it because I watched her YouTube videos like every day. It was on repeat play, seriously. And um, I'm under Chris and Susie McCall. I'm Susie's level four. So I knew the McCalls, but I didn't meet them until probably three months into my journey and they don't live near me. So they, they love and support us so, so well, but there were, they didn't have any training videos out at that point. So I relied on Sonia and we got to leaders retreat. I told Chris McCall, I said, the only thing I want to do while I'm here is meet Sonia Dudley. Like that is all I care about. So the last night we were there at the Halloween party. She's dressed like a chicken, y'all. She's in a chicken suit with a chicken head and feathers. And her husband is Colonel Sanders, not even lying to you. It was hysterical. And Chris said, have you met Sonia yet? And I was like, no. He's like, that's it. We're doing it right now. That's the only thing you want to do this whole trip. We're going to find her. He dragged me through a crowd of people to Sonia Dudley, the Sonia Dudley, you know, the diamond, like the untouchable, like the person that you know is going to sizzle when you touch them. Like that's how I felt. My heart was beating out of my chest. And Chris walked me over there and he said some very complimentary things about me. This is one of our rock stars. You know, she's going to be a diamond plexus, all this stuff. Of course, I don't know Chris at this time well enough to know if he tells everybody that about everybody. And so I'm really uncomfortable. I, I'm just really uncomfortable. So I'm like, Sonny's like, I hear that you're a rock star. I hear, you know, that you're, you're going to be a diamond with plexus. And I literally start back paddling. I'm like, well, you know, I'm sure Chris just says that about everybody. And it's just so awesome. Me too. She, she grabbed a hold of my shoulders. If you know Sonia, she touches you when she talks to you. She grabs a hold of my shoulders and she said, listen, either you are a rock star or you're not a rock star. And either you're going to be a diamond or you're not going to be a diamond. So which is it? Because if you don't know if you're a rock star, then you're not a rock star. And I mean, right there and right then it was on. Like I just, I, I said, I'm a rock star and I'm going to be a diamond with plexus. And she said, you know what? I believe you. And I can't wait to watch you do this business. I can't wait to watch you succeed in this business. It was a five minute conversation that completely changed my mindset in this business. And she went back to her room and at 1130 that night, I, I got a friend request from the Sonia Dudley, who is now one of my dearest friends. But at the time, like I had her on such a pedestal. And I'm telling you right now, when people say you need to get to events, they're not saying that because it's fun. 
I mean, it is fun, but that's not why they're telling you to get there. It's because that is where not just leaders are born. That's where mindset is built. It really, really is. And nobody was there for me to even share this moment with because I didn't have a team member there. But I knew at that moment that I was going to do this and I was going to never stop until I became a diamond. And so I went home from that and I made a video on YouTube, one of my first YouTube videos. And then you go back and watch it now. And I look like this meek, little quiet person, which is not who I am, not confident, no posture involved, but I am telling my audience almost with tears in my eyes and I don't cry that I'm going to walk away from my 19 year career as an, as a kindergarten teacher. I'm nationally board certified. I've written my own curriculum for years. I sell it on teachers pay teachers. Like I'm not a get there when the door opens, leave when the door closes gal. I go up on weekends. I wanted a key every weekend. I work till six and seven at night. I mean, passionate teacher and I'm going on YouTube and making this video. And the next day, you guys, the next day, my principal calls me in her office. She's not even on Facebook, calls me in her office and says, I hear you put a YouTube video up saying you're going to leave teaching. Well, who are these snitches that I work with? Oh my gosh. She's like, you can't leave education. And I said, you know what, Karen, I'm not going to leave you in the middle of the year. I wouldn't do that to my students, but I, I am planning to, to walk away from teaching at the end of this school year. Now guys, I had just started Plexus like six months before. This is a big goal of mine. Um, and I realized your leader's amazing and went diamond in a year. Wasn't quite to that speed, but for me at this time, working full time while I'm doing this business, I'm like, I've got to get busy. And so I looked at my husband and I said, which I've never told him I wanted to be a stay at home mom because I knew we couldn't afford it financially. I looked at him and I said, I want to be a stay at home mom with our girls. And I believe that Plexus is how I'm going to do that. And you know, he's just barely into anything Plexus at this point. And he flippantly says to me, flippantly, without belief, well, when you go Emerald, you can do that. Well, all right, pal, you got it. So that was all I needed. That was it, y'all. Gas on the fire. I'm like, pedal to the metal. I started sponsoring people like crazy, personally sponsoring. My team went on fire. Two months later, I was a Ruby. Two months later, I was a senior Ruby. Two months later, I was an Emerald in April of 2015. And I walked away from that job on June the 1st of 2015. Exactly what I said I was going to do. I walked away. And I came home to be with my family. Because this is the thing. If you have a why that will drive you, you have something, you have a catalyst that's going to propel you in the direction of your dreams. If your why does not wake you up in the morning and it's not the last thing that you pray for before you go to bed, you need to reevaluate your why. I tell my, my team all the time, you know, a why is not being able to afford a pair of Air Jordan shoes. That is not a why. A why is something that changes your life. It changes the picture of your life. So it needs to be personal and it needs to be big and it needs to drive you every single day. And so having a why that I want my whole team to be on the diving stage is a great why. And truly that's part of my passion, but I need something personally to drive me every single day. You should never feel guilty about that. Okay. So everything sounds peachy in my journey, right? Like everything just cruised along and it was amazing. No. That's not what happened. Uh, my best friend, when I signed up, told me that I was stupid. She was the first person I told I was going to join Plex. She told me I was stupid. And I she didn't even know I was going to do the business. She just told me I was stupid for doing the products. And it took her forever to get on board with the whole thing. She was my first ambassador because that's just what best friends do. You just say you're signing up. Like, I don't care if you take the products. You're going to support me in this. And it took her nine months to go gold. And I'm Ruby when she goes gold. And so she was behind me um, because she took so long to get her belief and to get on board and to start sharing. I tell her she never wanted to come out of the closet. Like she wouldn't even let me announce her on the team pages and stuff. I mean, really, let's like be out there and be who we are. Um, so I'm like, feel like I'm dragging dead weight behind me kind of part of the time. You know, they always say, get a running buddy. Well, you guys, you need a running buddy that you're not dragging. Okay. If you're dragging somebody, they're not running with you. That's a dragging buddy. You, know, you get somebody that's going to run the race. It's right beside you. That's got the same ambition that you have. That has the goal that you have. 
and run with them. She finally woke up. She's an emerald now. Yay! But it took her a little time to get on board, just like my husband. So I started my business and built it the whole first year, really without support from anyone. My husband's family still thinks we're insane. They still, to this day, think we have lost our mind. They were not in support of me quitting my teaching job. Did that stop me? Heck no, I'm out the door. Like my family is the most important thing, not what people think about me. And I'm gonna be real with you and tell you, the biggest naysayers in my whole life were the teachers that I taught with every day. They were so unsupportive of me personally because I was doing something outside of education. And they would talk about me, they would make fun of me, they would call me the crazy plexus lady behind my back. And I had to make some decisions. You know, are their opinions going to pay my bills and are their opinions gonna help me reach my goals and my dreams? The answer is clearly no. And so the day that I walked out of the school on June the 1st, 2015, I left behind my best friend. We team taught together. She had to teach a whole nother year. And I was defriended and blocked on Facebook by multiple people from that school, including somebody that I had taught with for my entire career. And I taught her children. She blocked and defriended me that day on Facebook. And you know, it stung, I'm a human being, it stung that I thought, I can't worry about what these people think, I can't worry about what these teachers think, and I'm happy to tell you that three years later, more than half of the faculty at that school have joined Plexus and are doing really, really well. They came around because we killed them, Kelly and I killed them with kindness the whole way. Even when they weren't supportive, we still killed them with kindness. We were still polite. We still didn't write them off. We have never given up on a single solitary soul in this business. So I'm not telling you to chase white lines down, but I wouldn't ever write anybody off because you just don't know what's going to change in their life. So left in June, it took me seven months to go Sapphire. That was during our back office changeover. And the same month that I went Sapphire, my husband went Emerald. And then four months later, in March of 2016, I went Diamond. So I have been a Diamond for 14 months. And my husband should go Sapphire soon, like any time. So we're really excited about that. And I... You know, I've like allowed the words to be thrown back in his face, his little flippant business of when you go emerald, you can quit teaching. Well, what I said to him is when you go diamond, you can quit your job. So he's still working until he goes diamond. And, you know, I've said, if you want to go diamond, then you need to, you know, you need to step up your game. You need to work for it. So um, he is still working full time and we are enjoying life in a way that I never, I could just never have dreamed it, you guys. And here's the thing, I, I'm sure you guys are from all over the country, just like my team is, but I am in Oklahoma where I grew up, and Oklahoma is actually number 50 now in teacher pay. Um, I am nationally board certified and I got a stipend from my state for doing that. And even with that $5,000 stipend, I never in 19 years made $40,000 as a teacher. So when I have people that criticize me for leaving the profession, I just say to them, well, you know what? I've missed out on all my kids' parties. I've missed out on every assembly because I was teaching my own kids. I've missed out on so many activities. And my kids, as much as I love teaching, my kids are my first priority. My family is going to come first for the first time in my life because they can. And so if you understood what I did as a Plexus ambassador, you would understand that I still use my teaching experience every single day. Like, my passion for sharing with people and helping people and loving on people, which is what I did with five and six year olds, is exactly the same. I just do it with adults every day. And I have to be honest and tell you guys, I don't miss teaching. 
uh, because I still get to do it every day. And I never thought that I could do anything else and be as passionate as I am. But it's pretty exciting to get to say a prayer with my team whenever I want to, and I couldn't do that in public ed. It's pretty exciting to talk about my faith anytime I want to, and I couldn't do that in, in public ed. And it's pretty exciting that I can now send my own children to the private school I always dreamed of them going to. And I set today, you guys, I set today in my daughter's fifth grade assembly at 1.30 p.m. in the afternoon. And I videotaped the teacher talk about my child and receive all these awards. And if I was still teaching, I would have completely missed the entire thing. And I sat there and thought, what if I had not pushed through the hard times? What if I'd listened to my best friend and my husband? What if I'd allowed people defriending, blocking me, making fun of me, deter me from the plan God set me on? Um, what would I be doing today? It wouldn't be watching my daughter leave fifth grade and move into middle school. And that, my friends, is completely priceless to me. So I don't know um, if you guys have, I see we've got a bunch of chat things. If you guys have questions or Brooke, if there's something else you want me to share, but I am all yours until you tell me to go to bed. Well, I think, I think the same thing too, like you wouldn't be seeing those things happen in your children's life. And that was part of my why was that my husband was missing literally everything. And I know a lot of women here that do stay home and they're like, well, I'm not missing that. But is your husband missing it? Is your husband working two jobs? Is he, does he have a one or two hour commute and he's missing out on your children growing up? Like that was the thing that drove me. So even if you do have that time with your kids, do you really have a lot of freedom? Do you really have a lot of choices in your life? Or is your life bound, um, you know, by schedules? and obligations. And so that was what fueled me. Um, I know that you, I've watched a lot of your videos and I watched a lot of them in the beginning when I was the gold ambassador too. Hey, and bro. I love, <clears throat> what's that? I wanted, yeah. to chime, I wanted to chime in on this because just tonight at dinner, uh, we have a friend over who is just a new ambassador on our team. And she was, she, he, Sean said, oh, I'm taking um, a week off every single month for the next five months. And my boss said that was okay. And that's so nice that we have that boss. And in my mind, I thought we could have never afforded to do that ever. We would take a week off in July every summer to go see my parents in California and it would cripple us for six months. Mm -hmm. I mean, catastrophic to our credit cards, to where we are still paying them off now because we would take a week to go be with our family. And that's like my, that's my driving why now is to get rid of all of our credit card debt. And the reason why I share that with you guys is because we felt like we were financially great and we were so far in the hole that my diamond pay has not even pulled us out yet, you guys. I'm going to follow that up. It took me a year of diamond pay to pay off all my debt. Yes. A year, y'all. Yes. A year of my diamond pay to pay it off. Actually, nine months. I'm exaggerating. Nine months to pay it off. And I'm telling you what, I celebrated by taking a retirement cruise as soon as I paid that off. <laughs> but the thing is, you would have never, the thing is, you would have never paid it off no, if never. you didn't do it. And that's the thing. I was just having a conversation with someone today and I said, if you keep doing the same thing you're doing, you'll always be in the same place because a lot of times we focus on the now. Well, I need to do this now. Like I needed to get this second job now instead of working my Plexus business because I have bills now. So what would you say to someone that has that kind of mindset? They're like, well, I can't really work my Plexus business because I need this now. Like how do you overcome that obstacle of helping people to see you've got to have the long-term perspective and you've got to choose to invest in this if you want to be able to have a different life because otherwise you're on the hamster wheel. I, this is literally, like, I would ask some really clarifying questions. The first thing I would ask is, how's that working for you? Like, how's that been working for you? I mean, I'm just that bold. Like, how's that working for you? Like, are you getting ahead or are we getting further in the hole? Like, how are, you know, what are you doing to, to change your situation? Because you're, you're still burning the candle at both ends. You're still working and you're still not making any gains. So, 
yeah, you, you have to go to work and get a paycheck, but you have to carve out some time. Like the biggest, well, I hear a billion different excuses all the time, but one of them that I hear is I just don't have time. Okay, now we all know that's baloney, and that's what I would say to somebody. We know that's baloney because what's your favorite TV show? And they have 10, like a list of 10 TV shows that are their favorite, okay? When you ask me what my favorite TV show is, I cannot tell you because that's the first thing that went bye bye When I started Plexus and I got serious with it, I was like, how is sitting on the couch for two to three hours a night helping me grow a business or get ahead or get out of debt or help my family. It's not helping anybody. And it's really not relaxing. You guys come on. You're so stressed out by the bachelor. We know you are. So literally like you're just spinning your wheels. So I'm like, we have to look at our time and people would say, they say to me all the time, well, it's great for you, but you know, I don't want to take time away from my family to build this business. And I'm like, yes, awesome. yes, yes. I get that all the time. I've never taken time away. From, I mean, I shouldn't say I've never. I did. I did have to on weekends sometimes. But this is how I did it. I got up an hour earlier every single day that year I was teaching. And who who did that take time away from? Me. It didn't take time away from anybody else. And I stayed up an hour later. Again, it took time away from me. I spent my lunch time instead of socializing with the teachers that were making fun of me, I was in my room with my phone answering messages and sending messages for the lunch period. Okay. Didn't work my business when I was supposed to be teaching. That's not the kind of person that I am. And then I would carve time out on weekends. Usually I would get up before everybody else in my family got up and work really, really hard on Saturday mornings. Um, and then I was, I told you, I was the kind of teacher that used to go up to school. And so we had a church on Sunday. I would come home from church and I would go to school for, for three to four hours. And then I would go grocery shopping. That's what was my routine. When I started Plexus, my routine changed. We went to church, we came home and I worked my Plexus business in place of going to school. And you know what? It was okay. Cause I had parents cut out stuff and maybe it wasn't perfect, but I had to get over it because I was more concerned with the future I was building for my family. So I think it's, a bunch of baloney when people say they don't have time because everybody I know has 24 hours. Like if you have more, let me know where the other hours are coming from. Cause we all have the same amount of time. It's how we divide it out. And so to some people that sounds really harsh, forgot to say I was a red personality and maybe it is, but it's the reason that I went emerald in 13 months. It's the reason I went diamond in exactly two years. So, Hey, it works, right? Right. I think, I think sometimes when things sounds har sound harsh, though, it's because it pierces you in the heart because you know that it's true. And if you're, ha if you're coming up with a lot of excuses, maybe it's going back to, well, what's your why? And is your why enough to get you past those excuses? Mm -hmm. So I love that you showed people, okay, this is how I did it while I was working full time. You sacrifice some sleep. I know I can relate to that. Emily can relate to that. A lot of us can relate to that. Sacrificing some sleep, but it was totally, totally worth it. Um, so there was a question. Um, somebody was wondering, like, how do you go about personally sponsoring people? And especially, like, three years into the business, what is, you know, the, the best thing that you do to keep growing your business and sponsoring people? Well, I, I want to say, first of all, that when people tell me their warm market is cold, I laugh out loud every time because that's an oxymoron. You cannot have a cold, warm market. That doesn't even make any sense, okay? So the only reason that you have a cold, warm market is if you're not building the warm market. You're not constantly adding to it. So number one, that's the very first thing. You always have to have people in your funnel. And if you've never seen that analogy, it's literally like, I love having fence sitters and people look at me sometimes like that's why would you want fence sitters? Because it means I'm working all the time. And as soon as one falls off, we get somebody else on the fence. Okay. Because I love challenge. And so I'm constantly reaching out. I literally sent a voice message today. I was driving and I just thought I'm sending a voice message to this gal. I've never reached out to her. I've known her for years and I'm going to just reach out to her and offer her a sample of slim, which she still hasn't responded to me, but don't worry, I'll follow up. 
Um, so it's a matter of constantly following up. You know, I love the statistic that 80% of the people that join you as a customer and ambassador do so between the fifth and 12th follow up. So follow up is huge. It's what I do and how I sponsor people. And then my goal is to go silver or beyond every single month. I've already sponsored three this month. I just constantly am reaching out and encouraging people. And I want to share something with you guys, especially you newbies that are posting and nothing's happening. Maybe you have crickets, maybe nobody's liking it or commenting. Let me assure you of something very, very quickly. People are watching you. You may not know they're watching. They're watching you. Um, my childhood best friend from Arizona who actually loves Brooke and Emily, loves, loves them both, Rebecca Pavey, Rebecca. watched me for 10 months on Facebook without commenting or liking anything of my Plexus stuff. And you guys, I made a huge mistake with her. I just thought that, that Arizona was probably completely saturated, right? Because I mean, she's just right down the street from corporate. Everybody on her Facebook's probably selling Plexus. Guess how many people were selling Plexus that she knew? That would be a big giant zero. She'd never even heard of it. Nobody she knew in her entire circle was even doing Plexus. She didn't even know what it was. And I chose not to reach out because of what I thought. So don't make that mistake with the people that you love and care about, first of all, because we have something that changes lives. Um, but also don't just doubt the people that aren't liking and commenting on your posts. I have had a gal on my dream list for three years. Number one on my dream list of people, okay? And I followed up with her. I can't even tell you how many times I have asked her to join me. I have told her how amazing she would be, all the reasons. I've used her color personality. I did it all. And finally, um, at the end of March, she signed up, finally. And she just went silver today. She is going to convention. Like, she's a total rock star. And... I never gave up on her. So my biggest advice in sponsoring people is to work on the relationship. Don't work on the sale. Okay. If you build a relationship with someone and they trust you and you're genuine and you love them because you love them and not you love them because you want them to be on your Plexus team, eventually they're going to join you. Like who is Plexus for? Um, everyone. Like, there's no one it's not for. I can't figure out who, who wouldn't want to take it. So everyone that you know is a potential. Don't forget that when you're building the relationship with them, but focus on the relationship first and let the plexus part come because it will. This business is not about sitting back and watching and being patient. It's about following up and being patient with the people to make the decision because your passion is going to come through as you continue to follow up with them and educate them when you're following up. So not just saying like, are you ready to do Plexus? Are you ready? To you're going to find out some key information from them by asking them a bunch of questions. Like not, not about their health, but you're going to get there. Like you're not going to say, what is it that you struggle with? Because then they're going to know what you're doing, but you're going to talk to them. Like, well, tell me about your husband. We'll tell me about your kids. Well, are your parents living because they live close by and through those conversations things are going to come up like well my mom's a diabetic or my husband really struggles with neuropathy and then you're going to know how to share with them based on their personal life okay so always make it personal that's probably the longest winded answer ever but that's honestly what I would tell you I see somebody ask what is a warm market a warm market is the people that you know and that see you often. So on Facebook, all your Facebook friends are your warm market. And I am adding to my warm market at all times. I'm running into a problem though, because I have, I think I'm like at 985 friend requests pending. And I have like 300 friends left. So I'm like really trying to say that for building my business. Um, so I'm like, please follow me because I can't accept them all. Um, but that's how you do it. You constantly are adding new friends all the time. I'm still friending people all the time. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'm always friending people. I'm just getting to know them in Messenger and just, like you said, just building a relationship, not jumping right into Plexus because that's not, that's not going to get you anywhere really with people that you don't know. You've got to get to know them. And really you do want to get to know them because you want to build the relationship and you want to know why this would even be good for them because it really is not just about the sale. It's about helping them and meeting their needs 
whatever their needs are. So that's super important. And I feel like um, it's so good for new people, like you said, to understand that really people are watching you and this is not a get lucky kind of a thing. And you, you have to be, you know, posting consistently if you want people to consistently be seeing you and taking you seriously. And that was one of the things in the very beginning that I took to heart and I was like, okay, post twice a day about plexus, twice a day about non-plexus stuff. And literally I would do that like every single day. I still do it as a diamond. Like it's still important because I'm still adding to my friends and adding to my funnel. Like even, even we do that like on a regular basis because all those new people, you still want them to see what you're passionate about. But on top of that posting, which I know Emily and I are always like IPA, 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 like you have to then take the step to reach out to people because wouldn't you say that most people are too afraid to reach out to you? Most are. And here, here's the thing. Your consistency is what people believe. Okay. So people that have to be reminded to post are not passionate, right? I mean, if you're passionate about something, don't you just talk about it? Like nobody has to say, Hey, you should talk about your faith. I mean, you just talk about it. That's what you're passionate about. And the same is true with Plexus. So if you go a week without posting, people are going to be like, well, either she quit already because that's what they're waiting for you to do. Or they, they're thinking, well, she must not really care about it or it must not be a big deal to her. So people will believe your passion and your consistency because you, you are routine in doing it. And when I say routine, I don't mean like boring. I mean, you are consistent in posting, you're consistent in reaching out definitely need to differentiate the kind of post you're doing. You don't want to always be focusing on the business or always be focusing on the products. Mix it up. Testimonies are a big deal. You know, facts are something that are important to a lot of people, especially green personalities, but stories are really sell our products. When you, when you share stories with people and this is the one thing, and this isn't going to, it's not going to hit all of you, but it hit, it hits the people that need it to hit. And this is the thing I have so many people that watch, have watched me for up to three years before they joined me. And these are the people that typically say, well, nobody's joining me. I can't get anybody to sign up. And they've been like an ambassador for a minute. So what I always say to them is, and how long did you watch me? And what were you watching for? You were watching to see if I was going to quit, right? I had an ambassador that joined me a year and a half ago. And these were her exact words, you guys. She said, well, I was just waiting for you to die. <laughs> what? I was just waiting for you to die from those supplements. But since you haven't died and you seem to be even more healthy than you were before, I guess they're good. So I'm going to join you. I was like, for real? I mean, people watch for the craziest reasons. And so give them a good show, like be consistent, be persistent, but ask yourself that question when you get frustrated. Well, how long was it that I watched somebody before I joined them? Okay, because a lot of the time you're one of the people that watch the longest and you forget that when it's time for you to sponsor. So don't give up on people, be consistent and persistent and know that this business is paced differently. And I'm just going to say this um, because we're on here with two amazing rock star diamonds. Brooke and Emily's journey is not your journey. Okay, it wasn't my journey. I took twice as long to go diamond as they did. But I'm going to tell you this if it took you 10 years, to go diamond 10 it will be a better income than you could earn doing anything else especially with the freedom of tied tied to it so stop basing everything on a timeline and base it on your effort if you're gonna set a goal know that the amount of effort you put into it is gonna determine your timeline the timeline is determined by your work it's not your team it's yours so if you want it faster you got to start pedaling quicker okay you got to put more time in. You got to put more effort. You got to get where you're supposed to go. And um, I kid people all the time. Um, I probably should have been a preacher, but it's okay because <laughs> I could literally preach about my passion and my belief for this company and the business that I never planned to do because it it literally it's worth however long it takes you to get there. Like when I heard that Sarah Marble took seven months to go silver. I was horrified. You guys, I was horrified that it took her seven months to go silver. But the longer that I'm in this business, I realize that it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get there. It's that you get there. She's a diamond senior gold ambassador. And if you go ask Sarah Marble right now, if it was worth it, 
What do you think she's going to tell you? Absolutely. So keep working for your dreams because the time will pass anyway. No matter what you're doing, you might as well be achieving something for your future. Okay, I'm going to shh. No, <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. And, and don't, you're preaching, you're preaching to us here, but don't be frustrated if you have a really ambitious goal Yet the amount of time you want to match up with that really ambitious goal does not match up to that goal. So if you have a really ambitious goal, make sure that it matches up to the amount of time you're willing to put into it. And make sure that you are working with your sponsor. I'm sure you work really closely with your people to try and help them and coach them. And, you know, I, I think sometimes, and you can probably relate to this, it's like, we tell people, we want to help you. We want to, you know, you know, we want to do this with you and that with you and this with you. And, and, um, you know, people don't always use your help, I'm sure. And it's like, we have this burning desire because we believe so much in the business. We believe so much in the products and we're like, really, you know, just, just do what we're suggesting you do. It really, really works. Right. And it's just like, oh, <laughs> Well, our belief is so big for, I mean, I don't know you guys, but I, I can guarantee that if I got to know you, my belief for you would match or exceed your belief because I believe really in my heart that there is not a personality type that can fail at this business if they just yeah. keep going. I mean, if this is, I've heard people say, I've heard diamonds say, well, this isn't, business isn't for everyone. And I do not agree with that. I'm going to just be honest. I don't agree. I think our products are for everyone. And I think the business is for everyone. And maybe that's because I didn't think it was for me. I didn't think I could be successful doing it. You know, I can st stand on a stage with 12,000 people and talk and it wouldn't bother me at all. But you put me in a social setting, like the VIP reception, I'm probably going to pass out. And you expect me to go work the room. Like that is not my thing. I'll be attending because I earned it. But I am telling you those kind of situations, like, totally stressed me out. And I'm thinking if I can do this, anyone can do it. Right? Like I had a very small social circle, like 500 friends on Facebook. I've been a teacher for 19 years. I've lived in the same town since I was born. Like throw all the excuses at me as to why you can't do something. And I will match them all. If this is for you. It's, it's for you. So stop saying, is this for me? No, it is for you. You make this work and you go after it and it will be completely worth it. I think that's a perfect, a perfect place to end. This is for you. And I remember a couple of weeks ago, Jennifer Leith was on our team call and she, oh. I know I love her too. And she said, did you know that you joined Plexus at this specific time with this specific sponsor for a very specific reason. You are meant to be here. You are on this call because you are meant to be here and there is a purpose for you. And don't push that aside. God is in everything, even Plexus. Like there is a purpose for you to be doing this, whether it's a big purpose or a small purpose, there is a purpose. If you feel drawn to it, pushed into it, um, something that you want to do, then something you're not sure about, something brought you here, something made you want to do this or made you want to try these products or made you think about sharing, um, you know, dwell on that and, and grab hold of that and just believe like this is for you. So Gosh, I feel so inspired. I could listen to you all night. So thank you. Thank you so much. I know it's getting really late for you. And um, we just want to give you lots of, mwah. everyone blow our kiss. Mwah. I cannot <laughs> wait to meet you guys at convention. Please come up and talk to me. Because okay. remember, I'm the introvert. So come to me. <laughs> Go take pictures with her. Like make yes. it you can't walk down the hallway. Stalk her like a fan. <laughs> I'll rest when I get it. home. Come yes. be extroverted with me. It'll be exactly. great. Exactly. Have so much fun, you guys. I cannot yeah. wait for Vegas. Neither can I. Thank you so much.